Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. So, minimalism has been a thing for the past few years. Matt Diavella is probably the king of that industry. And I'm sure you guys watch a ton of his videos as well, so you guys probably kind of have a grasp of what minimalism is. So now we're gonna translate that into fashion, and the greatest part about this is that you can go back to the basics, refine your style, or even declutter. Because the best part about minimalistic fashion is that you can be lazy and still look fly. So today we're gonna be talking about my minimalistic wardrobe essentials. And yes, you guys probably know I own like 20 sneakers, and I have a closet full of BS. Just ignore that for this video, okay? Just ignore that. And before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Essentials. I'm actually wearing their pieces right now, and we'll talk about them later in the video. But also, this is just my set of minimalistic wardrobe essentials. Yours might be different. Everyone has their own taste. Everyone has their own preferences. Fashion is subjective. I don't know how to dress. Just wear whatever the hell you want. This is just what I like and what I would recommend to other guys. Let's elaborate a little bit more. So yes, a minimalistic wardrobe and the minimalistic aesthetic can be seen as basic. And there's nothing wrong with basic. Sometimes I just want a night of Clone Wars and popcorn instead of Maestro Steakhouse and a boat ride on a yacht. Besides, this is just what I think about minimalistic fashion. It actually takes more technicality and knowledge of colors, silhouettes, and all that. Instead of just expensive shirt, expensive sneakers, I know fashion. So let's start off with our sneakers. Sneakers pack a punch when it comes to the minimalistic aesthetic. You can have all the core principles and minimalistic pieces, but throw on the pair of the Union Jordan ones and the whole vibe of the fit is thrown off and it would just be considered a simple outfit. So if I had to recommend some sneakers, roll with the white sneakers because it definitely gives off those minimalistic vibes. Sneakers like the triple white Air Force Ones, the Vans Authentics, or any plain white leather sneaker will fit the vibe, but also a more retro vintage vibe like the Yeezy Power Faces suit this motif as well. Although it isn't a pure white sneaker, off-white also works as well. These sneakers are all of a single solid color palette and solid is going to be a big theme in this video, but also don't stray away from the slip-on bands or your converses. These are perfect all year round and not too pricey either. Now let's talk about your pants. What you want to go for is a more streamlined, simple design. Black denim is your best friend in this case and what I definitely recommend is a skinny slim fitting pair as well as a more relaxed straight cut pair. This is going to give you options and when it comes to a minimalistic fit, an all fitted silhouette can only take you so far. Straight cut pants just gives your fit a unique look that you don't really see too many people rock and I personally find it to be more tasteful. The Dickies A74 work pants is also just as versatile and you can rock it with the skater vibes or like a normal straight cut pants. You guys know me by now, I have to find a way to sneak in cargo pants to any aesthetic and that is why I really dig these cargos from the sponsor of today's video essentials. So these cargos are cut to be really simple while having the functionality of normal cargo pants. There aren't any zippers or straps, just a plain chino filling pants with cargo pockets. So if you haven't heard of Essentials, it is a brand started by the Zanigas over at Teaching Men's Fashion, and they make simple, minimalistic basics for men. It's crazy to think that they were my very first sponsor back when I had a thousand subscribers, but since then, they've had plenty of launches, and all of them sold out insanely fast, typically empty by the second day. And this time, they're dropping new colors of their bamboo tees, as well as a redesigned chino. And what I'm gonna recommend you guys is definitely their crewnecks right here, they nailed the fit on this, as well as their cargo pants. Now with these olive cargo pants, I sized up in them to get more of a straight cut look, so I have a size large in these, but also have a medium in their khaki colorway, which fits a lot more slim. And they have a ton of other essentials as well, from your hoodies to your Henleys, and now face masks. And for this launch, with every item that you purchase, you're going to get one free face mask. So if you get five items, you're gonna get five face masks for the whole family. I, for one, have struggled to find a face mask out here in Albuquerque, so it's a great opportunity to get a free face mask if you don't have one, especially since all states in America have partially reopened. Anyways, they're even offering free bundles for you guys. So they have this everyday basic bundle, even a streetwear bundle, which I'm sure you guys are going to like. And also, this is a great place to start if you're just getting into the streetwear aesthetic. So click the link in the description, leave that tab open, click refresh multiple times on May 30th because their launch is May 30th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's gonna be free domestic shipping for you guys and also free international shipping if you spend $150 or more. You guys don't wanna miss out on this one because they are definitely gonna sell out real quick. And you guys also don't wanna miss out on a free face mask. Plus, you guys can save some money by using my discount code j Ty, and i just want to thank any of you guys in advance if you guys use my discount code it really helps my channel out and also thank you essentials for sponsoring this video but yeah i've been really digging these essential cargos with this boxy relaxed fitted tee from uniqlo along with the yeezy power phases earth tones are a perfect color palette to year round and this definitely fits those minimalistic vibes. My next essentials are solid tees. So literally, just a solid color tee with no graphics or unique designs. You can still probably hit simple graphic tees, stripe tees, or pocket tees, 
but the foundation of any wardrobe is just a plain old shirt. And like with the pants, a fitted shirt looks dope, but I also want to recommend you guys a relaxed fitting shirt. No, it's not going to make you look like a child. It's actually going to make you more in tune with cuts and fitments. And you're going to have more flexibility with playing with your proportions. So for fitted shirts, definitely hit up our sponsor Essentials. And for more relaxed fitting shirts, I definitely recommend Uniqlo. And if you could, just pick up all the colors that you like. It might just be white, black, and gray, and that's totally cool. But also don't be afraid to play with colors. Next up is a go-to jacket. Now this is going to be different for everyone. Mine changes all the time depending on the seasons and I'm on that workwear vibe. So these two workwear jackets that I got from Uniqlo definitely hits different, but I've also seen overcoats heavily incorporated with this aesthetic because of its already simple design. But other items I'd recommend are solid colored windbreakers, a gray denim jacket, and just to throw in this category as well, a solid colored hoodie or crew neck definitely is a staple with this aesthetic. But you can also hit up Champion on Amazon or Essentials as well. Now the next item we have on the chopping block is definitely an item most of you guys are not gonna like, tote bags. Tote bags are the definition of a simple storage item. It's just a handle and then the rest of the bag. It already gives off those vibes initially. Plus it's very functional and can replace most backpacks. And it's pretty fashionable as soon as you grab it while backpacks you may hardly even notice them. But if that's not your thing, I get it. I have this shoulder bag from Uniqlo that also, you know, kind of looks like a tote bag. It's a plain design, no extra pockets on the outside or crazy zippers or straps. Definitely recommend it if you guys aren't into tote bags, but you also want a minimalistic bag. And if that's still not your thing and you just want to stick to backpacks, just make sure the design is plain and simple. Something like Herschel backpacks or a leather one will do. Now we got subtle items that I want to recommend and those are caps, beanies, and crew socks. So these items are very subtle, but can dramatically change the feel of a fit while potentially adding a pop of color. For beanies, I'm definitely going to recommend the Fisherman beanie. Nothing too long or crazy like the beanies from 2008. A Fisherman beanie is that final touch to a fit for me. You don't need it, but adding it definitely makes the whole fit better. Now, where should you pick this up? Hey, just head to Amazon. You're gonna save the most money there, and if you have a few colors, you probably don't need any replacements. And by the way, it's summer as I'm filming this, so instead of beanies, pick up an assortment of dad hats or any style of a hat of your choice Dad hats are just the most versatile and simply designed. Now we got crew socks. I like to think of crew socks as the beanies for your legs because instead of adding a pop of color to the top, you can add it to your bottom. And most minimalistic fits I see are comprised of a simple sneaker, crew socks, and cuff pants to show off the color and texture of the sock or to make for a seamless transition from the pants to the sneakers. Don't skip out on the crew socks. They are definitely an underrated piece. Just head to Amazon if you guys wanna pick some up or Uniqlo, they have a great assortment as well. And my final essential has nothing to do with fabrics or materials, it's knowledge specifically with color. So with minimalistic fits, most pieces are solid in color and doesn't have any crazy unique design. Therefore, you have to let the simpleness of the fit speak for itself. So that includes the silhouette, how the garment is cut, but more importantly, how the colors are laid out on the fit. So for the most part with this vibe, you're gonna wanna stick to the neutrals like earth tones, black, white, navy, but also don't stray from other colors either. And these colors are going to apply to all the other items that I mentioned earlier. I definitely would say shoot for more muted colors like a dusty pink, mustard yellows, and pastels. But understanding when and where to use color is probably the most important concept to grasp whenever it comes to this style. So your gradient color theme is the move if you are unsure of what to wear, but also pops of colors with your hats and beanies or even with your crew socks is what I see often. And here's one color combination that always, always works. It never fails. A color top, black pants, and white sneakers. Give this color combination a shot. Literally every color I've tried has worked with this. And as a bonus, jewelry. Stick to simply designed jewelry pieces. You definitely don't want those talon or skull rings with this aesthetic. That's more edgy and meant for another aesthetic. Just stick to plain rings and for wrist wear, a watch is a go-to. I'm gonna recommend you guys a Casio watch or the Seiko 5. And I'd stray away from beaded bracelets. Those are for other styles, but hey, you do you. I just prefer a cuff or a gold chain as an accent piece to help with the fit. All right, fellas, I hope you guys found this video helpful. In reality, you don't need as much clothes as I do. You only need a few basics, and if you understand colors and proportions, you can really compose some tasteful outfits. Follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Turn the like button blue so that the YouTube algorithm gods can show love to the channel. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. And until then, stay fly, stay animosity free. Check out Essentials. I'm out. Peace.